friends, and welcome to The Smoke Report. I'm your host, Jay Todd, with another episode dedicated to smokers' rights and exposing the general stupidity of so many who crusade against us. This week, we're going to look at the real cost of unrealistic smoking bans, plus this. Yeah, you'll, uh, <clears throat> you'll have to wait for that clip. Also, I must apologize to you all. On our last show, I promised you an interview and a product review for an e-cigarette. However, the person I had scheduled to interview canceled on me at the last possible moment, screwing up my schedule and disappointing all of you. She didn't give me a specific reason for canceling, she muttered something about a witness protection program or some such crap. I had already lost interest and tuned out of the conversation by that point. But hey, you still got me. And I wanted to talk about a story from Boise, Idaho, where a proposal to expand a smoking ban there would once again go too damn far. State law already bans smoking in elevators, restaurants, and public places like where people get together and work. But that's not good enough for some. They want more restrictions so that smokers can't light up in an outdoor public park or even on a city sidewalk. Local resident David Anderson said he feels he should have the freedom of choice to smoke if he wants to while living in the good old U.S. of A and that his right to make that choice is being taken away from him. This week, the International Premium Cigar and Pipe Retailers Association spoke out calling the proposed expansion of the ban the tyranny of the majority. Now, yeah. since there are more non-smokers than people who smoke, these ridiculous, overreaching laws just keep getting pushed through. But in America, the minority is supposed to have rights too, am I correct? I mean, I didn't wake up in the old Soviet Union, right? Where is the representation for smokers? Where is the consideration for smokers? This sort of thing would not be tolerated if done to other minority groups. The politicians just keep plowing smokers right on over, don't they? Yeah. When we come back, we're going to have a look at the real cost of smoking bans. And maybe a monkey. second half, I wanted to send some smoke-filled shout-outs out to some of our subscribers at YouTube. Pipe Smoking on the Hudson, yeah, Vaporettes 2020, and The Vapor Mists. Thank you all for the love and helping us grow our channel. Okay, <clears throat> in Georgia, yet another ban on smoking is being considered, but in a press release I found on the Toronto-based Digital Journal, a great case is made for the unintended consequences of smoking bans. Not only did the piece correctly identify what's going on as Orwellian and nanny state, but it also points out that smoking bans put jobs at risk and infringe on the rights of not just individuals, but on business owners to decide for themselves what their smoking policy will be. Of course, most politicians won't hear any of these arguments, but it's not their fault. It's hard to hear anything when your head's up your ass. And finally, this. I don't really know what to say, really, you know? At a zoo in Malaysia, visitors supposedly toss this orangutan cigarettes, and now she's addicted. 
I'm torn on this issue, honestly, because it seems a bit cruel to me that an ape was allowed to get to this point. But now, zoo officials have transferred her to a, uh, <clears throat> another facility to be, quote, re-educated. And that sounds even worse. Where's PETA when you need him? Seriously. Until next week, my friends, smoke well. Supposed to be my friend.